Good morning everyone, this is a list of D-Type and today we're going to be having a look at the ignition timing and how to set up the magneto. Now the first thing I want to do is show you the timing marks on the flywheel. Now here you can see the line across the flywheel there, it's got TDC stamped at that end, that of course means top dead centre. Um, and if I move the flywheel a little bit anti-clockwise you can see there the little lightning symbol and that is of course your ignition timing mark I'll just move the flywheel back just so the camera can pick it up properly yeah, I, I think you can see it best there, it's like a little lightning sign and if the timing, the top dead centre line is there the actual timing mark is just to the right of it and of course that's the mark you want to set the points. Having found the timing marks on the flywheel the next stage is to have a look at the points. If you just move that clip down, take the back plate off you'll find the points here and of course you've got the cam in the middle that rotates and makes the points work. Now if I just move the flywheel backwards and forwards you can see hopefully that the points are opening and closing there and of course the idea is that you get the points to just open as the timing mark passes the top of the flywheel and of course the points gap should be set at between 10 and 12 thou. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. To change the timing of the engine, we need to remove this cover here. Now there's two bolts here, I think the quarter Whitworth, off the top of my head, they are. And if we loosen these two bolts off, well actually this top one's a nut and bottom one's a bolt. If you remove these two, you can take the chain guard off. This is of course a magneto chain. There are two sprockets behind here and the relationship between the two sprockets gives you your ignition timing. Waggle that off. And of course that sprocket's on the magneto and the bottom one is the drive from the engine. Now if you want to change the timing you should loosen that nut and just move the sprocket slightly on that taper. Right, now I've just noticed something. Although this video is really about magneto timing, I've just noticed that the chain here is a bit loose. Uh, these chains, they shouldn't be really, really tight. There should be a little bit of play in them, but this is a bit excessive. So, how do you change the tension on the chain, or in this case, tighten it up? Well, you use these things, um, and they're known as magneto shims. And uh, what you do with these is, you actually put one, two or three of them underneath the magneto here. It's four bolts that hold the mag on. And you just use these really like a big washer. And they just move the magneto up and tension up the chain. So what we might do on this engine is I'll put a new mag shim in, just take up a bit of play on this floppy chain and then we'll retime the engine. Okay, we've replaced the magneto shim and the chain tension is a bit better on the magneto chain. Now, what we want to do is we want to get the flywheel in the right position for setting the ignition timing. Now there you can see the top dead centre line and the idea is that you put it here so that the top dead centre line lines up with this water jacket nut here. So when that's perfectly vertical that's top dead centre but that's not actually the mark that we want for the ignition timing. If I go a little bit further anti-clockwise I hope you can see just there you've got the little lightning symbol and we need that to be vertical and in line with this bolt here and that's the point at which your points should be opening and the method I use is 
if you just gently rock the flywheel backwards and forwards like that that should be, enable you to see the points opening and closing I just want to say a couple of things about the timing mark um, obviously we've gone over the fact that that's the ignition timing mark and this is a top dead centre line but what t tends to happen on D-type flywheels is that this top dead centre mark is still clearly visible but with years and years of corrosion the little lightning mark which is more delicate the rust just eats that away and you can't see it so what you can do if that mark isn't visible if you can find the top dead centre line you can just take a tape measure and if you measure about two and three eighths of an inch clockwise that's where your ignition timing line should be okay we've set the ignition timing roughly where it should be I'm just going to rock the flywheel backwards and forwards and you can see the points opening and closing there I'm just going to take a 10 thou feeler gauge I'm just going to open the points there and hopefully the 10 thou should just go in there that's spot on now of course the correct way to use feeler gauges is you, you shouldn't have to force them in it should just go in with a slight bit of resistance and then you've got the right gap and of course try not to twist the feeler gauge while you're doing it but that gap there it's bob on 10 thou and the points are just opening there just as the little lightning mark goes past top dead center so I'm happy with that timing so now all we have to do just check the screw there is secure and put a drop of oil on the felt pad there and that just helps lubricate the cam only one drop of oil by the way don't put too much oil on there and then we'll just replace the cover put the clip over it to hold it in place and there we are that's the job done right the final job is just to replace the guard over the magneto chain now I know it's very tempting to run these engines without this guard on but uh, it is pretty dangerous you don't want to get your finger or any other part of your anatomy caught in that chain when it's spinning round and I think when you exhibit your engines at stationary engine shows uh, if a safety officer comes around and sees you operating an engine without a guard on the chain he might ask you to stop running the engine they're quite keen on health and safety nowadays and uh, in the case of these chains I agree with them so do make sure this chain is covered up uh, even if you haven't got the proper chain guard like this you can quite easily get a piece of aluminium and cut one out and make one yourself Just tighten these nuts up here and then once these are tight we'll take the engine outside and we'll give it a run and hopefully it will run nicely with its ignition timing set properly now.